Monkey. Eddie Hearn says Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder in 2023. We want that fight. Better late than never, huh? A fight that once upon a time could have been huge, but due to promotional greed and milking never came to fruition is now a possibility once again. What pisses me off about this situation is this fight years ago could have been probably the biggest fight in heavyweight boxing history. But of course, this is boxing where fighters just never picture the idea of them possibly losing and ruining a potential huge fight. And of course, that's exactly what happened. As we all know, Ruiz ended up beating Anthony Joshua. Back-to-back -back losses to Alexander Usyk. And the same thing with Deontay Wilder. Back-to-back -back losses to Tyson Fury. I mean, these guys were beaten already, beaten down badly. Some people even went on to say after the third trilogy fight with Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury that Deontay Wilder might never be the same again. I've seen comments on Instagram and on Facebook calling these guys washed up and has-beens. Not saying that I agree or anything. Anthony Joshua, in my opinion, just got beaten by the much better Alexander Usyk. And the same thing with Deontay Wilder. He was just beaten by the better man. I read comments like that and I think to myself, wow, what a casual. But that's the key word, casual. The boxing hardcore fan base, they're not the ones who are bringing in the good pay-per-view numbers. Actually, they're the ones who are asking for streams and watching quote unquote illegally. The casual fan base typically are the ones that are dishing the 50, $60 for these fights. I'm very curious to see if they can actually attract the attention of the casual fan base to see if maybe they can get as close to the pay-per-view buys as they would have if they had done this fight years ago when these guys were at the top of their game. Probably not, but hey, you never know. I got a question for everybody watching the video. Will this fight intrigue you? I know you're gonna watch it. I know you're gonna watch it, illegally or not, but will it intrigue you? If this fight gets announced tomorrow, will you be as excited as you would have been had these two fought when they were at the top in their prime and undefeated? Let me know down below. Oscar De Loya says that he is open to Jerome Boots Ennis versus Virgil Ortiz. This is another fight that fans want that could potentially go wrong like many others have. So hearing De La Hoya say he's open to getting it done sooner rather than later makes me very happy. Usually this is a fight that you late marinate, but honestly, Boots has enough hype around him to make this a very big fight. Right now, most fans pick him to beat Crawford and Spence. So that's as good as it gets, at least hype wise. Not gonna lie, if Boots Ennis versus Virgil Ortiz gets announced tomorrow, I'm shitting my pants. So I really, really hope that Oscar De La Hoya sticks to his word and is actually open to making this fight happen because this fight right now, even next year, can potentially do big pay-per-view numbers. Boots already has the hype around him. Virgil Ortiz has the Mexican fans. Black American versus a Mexican. Huge fight if it happens. 